In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining us for Mass this morning and celebrating this Mass for the donor's intention. In the first reading today, we hear more with uh, St John from the Book of the Apocalypse and he speaks a message of the Spirit to the churches. And one of the messages is that the churches has become lukewarm. In our own faith, we too can become lukewarm. So for those times, we pause to call them to mind and ask the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, write to the angel of the church in Sardis and say, here is the message of the one who holds the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know all about you, how you are reputed to be alive and yet are dead. Wake up, revive what little you have left. It is dying fast. So far, I have failed to notice anything in the way you live that my God could possibly call perfect. And yet, do you remember how eager you were when you first heard the message? Hold on to that. Repent. If you do not wake up, I shall come to you like a thief without telling you at the hour at which hour to expect me. There are a few in Sardis, it is true, who have kept their robes from being dirtied and they are fit to come with me dressed in white. Those who prove victorious will be dressed like these in white robes. I shall not blot their names out of the book of life, but acknowledge their names in the presence of my Father and his angels. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Write to the angel of the church in light and say, Here is the message of the Amen, the faithful, the true witness, the ultimate source of God's creation. I know all about you, how you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were one or the other, but since you are neither but only lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth. You say to yourself, I am rich. I have made a fortune and have everything I want, never realising that you are wretchedly and pitiably poor and blind and naked too. I warn you, buy from me the gold that has been tested in the fire to make you really rich and white robes to clothe you and cover your shameful nakedness and eye ointment to put on your eyes so that you are able to see. I am the one who reproves and disciplines all those he loves, so repent in real earnest. Look, I am standing at the door knocking. If one of you hears me calling and opens the door, I will come in to share his meal side by side with him. 
Those who prove victorious, I will allow to share my throne, just as I was victorious myself and took my place with my father on his throne. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Response to the psalm is, those who prove victorious, I will allow to share my throne. Those, Those who, who prove victorious, I will allow to share my throne. Lord, who shall be admitted to your tent? He who walks without fault, he who acts with justice and speaks the truth from his heart, he who does not slander with his tongue. Those, Those who, who prove, prove victorious, I will allow to share my throne. He who does no wrong to his brother, who casts no slur on his neighbour, who holds the godless in disdain, but honours those who fear the Lord. Those who prove victorious, I will allow to share my throne. He who takes no interest on the loan and accepts no bribes against the innocent, such a man will stand firm for ever. Those, those who, who prove, prove victorious, I will allow to share my throne. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered Jericho and was going through the town when a man whose name was Zacchaeus made his appearance. He was one of the senior tax collectors and a wealthy man. He was anxious to see what kind of man Jesus was, but he was too short and could not see him for the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to catch a glimpse of Jesus who was to pass that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and spoke to him. Zacchaeus, come down. Hurry, because I must stay at your house today and he hurried down and welcomed him joyfully. They all complained when they saw what was happening. He has gone to stay at a sinner's house, they said. But Zacchaeus stood his ground and said to the Lord, Look, sir, I am going to give half my property to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody, I will pay him back four times the amount. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek out and save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We turn now in prayer to our Heavenly Father. For our holy shepherds, that they may be fervent in God's service, repenting of any tepidity, so that Jesus may enter in and eat with them and help their ministry. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For world leaders, that they may walk blamelessly and do justice, never harming their fellow citizens on honouring those who fear the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us that Jesus may invite us down with Zacchaeus into the familiarity of intimacy with him, forgiving us all our sins and bringing salvation to our house. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all who are lost and far from God, that Jesus who came to seek out and save what was lost may hear our fervent prayers on their behalf. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our beloved dead, that they may be among the victors who are dressed in white and who are acknowledged by Jesus before the Father and the angels in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In this moment of silence, we remember those needs kept in the quiet of our hearts.
Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and grant these our prayers that we may be among those called to your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. Wash away, O Lord, my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise is add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Malcolm, our Bishop, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow Sheila will be travelling to Manchester and then on Thursday, yep, travelling to Hong Kong and then on to Sydney. So we pray for a safe journey. Thank you for all you do, uh, for all the reading and everything. I know you'll appreciate her reading as well. So, and we look forward to welcoming you back when Christmas will be but a memory.
And you're welcome. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, thanks be to God. Many thanks for joining me for Mass today. Take care. Bye. God bless. See you soon.